Hello, I'm going to be using the wide female body as the exercise tool. Make sure that you select over here and click on path. Don't click on shape but on path. And if you look down here, there's also a path. And what we're doing now is click on the pen tool and as usual, trace the outline of the, sh the bodies. One more thing before we start uh, with the pen tool. If for some reason you can't see the preview of where the direction of the line is, go over here and click on rubber band. And see, you can see where the line is going. If you unclick it, you cannot see the preview of the line. So go over there and click rubber band. And there you go. Let's just trace the middle section because the golden triangle is going to be here. If you can't see where the direction of the line is heading, click Windows and Path. Yes, and then you'll get to see where the direction of your arrow is. Okay, so here I am trying to do it trying to trace it. I think I'm going to fast forward it. Okay, so one more thing is if you want to move the point like that, uh, click on alternate and if you click the cursor, you can see those triangular shape uh, where you can, you know, reshape things up. Okay, so just keep on tracing your bodies. Just trace the middle part and you know make it as precise as possible i wouldn't bother the hair if i were you because you can't really see it okay after you've completed that um look over here and you see press alternate and drag to get to there and then go to path and highlight that thing click it and then go to layer and what I want you to do is press control and that over there control and that so you're gonna make a layer mask and uh, you will get something like that okay so make sure the mask is at the top and hide the bottom part so you get something like this okay the next step is go to path I want to re you to rename it and for this part female white bodies again okay, click enter and go to layer and if you open it you see something like that so you get to see what you're actually doing so close it back what i want you to do is i want you to put your design the golden triangle okay and make sure that the bottom is the same width as the hip the the buttocks okay put it like that yes and click enter so uh this is like what you always do is the next step is the clipping mask and after you've completed that uh, make the opacity to 50% so you can actually see what you're doing and go to filter liquify the liquify there click it and you get to this page hold on I need to descale my page for a second okay uh, okay so you get something like this and what I want you to do next is to adjust the golden ratio shape as in the body shape so if you click show the shadow backdrop. backdrop you can see what whatever the body shape is but then again you cannot edit it so it's like you need to close it and then you need to push whatever shape that you desire so you can shift the size there at the top there uh, try to play along with it and 
something like this okay click it back oh, so there's a bump on the stomach and I want it a bit more bumpy at the breast so okay okay a bit on the belly fat there and on the breast area something like that and you keep on doing this I'm sure that you'll get you get there soon after that so just play along and try to be as flexible as possible and you know the belly you know shift it a bit something like that I don't know and this is like making an artwork so just do as you think it should be on the body okay you need to pull it down because the shirt is a bit um, larger at the bottom there so pull it like that okay and okay a little twerk here and there just work it here and there and when you finish just click OK. Uh, the next step is for you to the opacity make it 100% so that it's bright and go over here and click multiply so the design will incorporate into your shirt and open the entire model and you get something like this and this is what the final look should be.